Okay, so we've made our script a little bit better by adding in some sound effects to the stage. Uh, right now, we still got a pretty boring uh, play, right? They come out and say some speech bubbles, but they just sort of sit here in this in this initial uh, silly little uh, expression, right? So we want to actually work with changing up the nature of things. You may remember that when we were looking at the costumes for John and Lisa, that one of the things that, you, that we observed is that there's some built-in costumes in these sprites. Right? And so John has his normal, you know, I'm, I'm talking, uh, and he has a thinking mode, and he has this kind of laughing mode, and he has this yelling mode, but I like this, this laughing mode, right? So we want them to respond maybe to the laugh track at the end, that at the end of the joke, they both uh, start giggling. Right? And so the laughter is, is this costume named Boy 1C for John. And if we go to Lisa, she actually has a laughing one as well. Right? She, she thinks and she laughs and all of that. But she's got this, this thinking cost, uh, pose. And so we might want to have her uh, tell, or to also to laugh at the end. And so we'll put them both in this. And what we want to say is, at the end of the joke, after all this, we want to have them change from their initial costumes into their costumes where they're laughing. And so I can go to looks, and notice about a third of the way, halfway down in looks, there's a switch costume to action. And so this is the boy. We want to switch him to his laughter costume, which was costume C. Right? And with the girl at the end, with, with Lisa, we want to switch her to costume C. Right? And we can run this. And now look, we're saying knock, knock. But notice that John somehow in all of this got messed up, right? He's actually in his laughter mode right now, and we don't want that. In fact, if I were to run this again, now they're both in their laughter mode because, you know, well, I left them in laughter mode. Once we start messing with costumes, we have to actually change what we do in my places everybody setting, right? One of the things then when I say places everybody is to go back to wherever you're supposed to start, but also change back to your opening costume. And so let's see, for Lisa, her opening costume was girl A. For John, his opening costume was boy A. And so now when we press the green flag, Right? They both switch back to their beginning costumes. And we can see <laughs> that they both start laughing here at the end. And when I press places everybody and action, they go back to their initial costumes. Perfect. That's sort of what we want. Well, let's add a little bit more to that then. So, so John, remember, had, his, had this nice costume where he's laughing, but he also had this costume where he's thinking, which is perfect for a knock-knock joke, right? And I mean, presumably, John's got to think about this. She says Dwayne, and he's thinking, you know, what the heck, Dwayne who, right? So we want to actually add something in here where he changes to this Dwayne costume. So I'm going to sort of change this, this up a little bit, right? If you think about what's going on, we hear knock-knock, who's there, she says Dwayne, and what I want to do is actually put a break right in here. So I want him to listen to, to her say Dwayne, and then I want to have him think about it before he says Dwayne too. And so after he hears Dwayne and she's done, I want him to switch actually over to costume D, which if you remember, costume D, oops, sorry, costume D is the one where he's thinking. And so we're going to have him think. Let's have him think for three seconds. And then have him switch back to his costume, his regular costume. So cut back to costume A again, and then say Dwayne who, and so on. So let's see. We're gonna look at that. Knock knock. Who's there? Dwayne. He stops and oops, wrong costume. Right? He, wrong costume wasn't costume D, it was costume B where he's thinking. Sorry, I, I grabbed the wrong one. Right? Costume B is the one where he's thinking. So let's run it again. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Hmm. Dwayne. Who? Oh, wait. Dwayne the bathroom I'm drowning. All right, so here's one, I did this on purpose. This is one of the things that's really uh, becomes a challenge as you start to do storytelling. You have to continue to keep everybody coordinated, 
right? I changed the way this script is being run. I changed so that you know, he listens for two seconds, he speaks for two seconds, he listens for two seconds, then he thinks for three seconds before speaking for two seconds and then listening to the punchline. And so I have to tell Lisa to change what she did as well. She no longer has to wait for two seconds here. She says, Dwayne, she has to wait three seconds for him to think plus two for saying Dwayne two, so I need to change that to five. And so we do start to, over time, have to add in a little bit of, of more thinking to this. Right? We want to be able to say, knock, knock, who's there? Dwayne, three seconds of thinking, two more seconds of saying Dwayne who? <laughs> oh no, see, we forgot then, we, we updated Lisa, but we also forgot to update the stage manager. And so this becomes a coordination nightmare. You have to start to remember that now I added in three more seconds. And so we have to coordinate that all out again. And so I think we've got it right finally. Dwayne who? <laughs> and there we go. Right? And so we can add in costume changes, we can add in sound effects, and we need to tightly coordinate with all of these sprites to make sure that they are keeping their timing uh, coordinated and consistent between each other.